Thanks for staying with us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Lisa Bell. First, though, at four, an airboat flips over, hurting several people. Now, we ask the owner of that boat what happened. It happened yesterday afternoon on the St. John's River near Christmas. One person had to be flown to the hospital, and two others were taken by ambulance. And tonight, for the first time, we are hearing the 911 calls from the scene. News 6 reporter Brittany Harris joins us now live from near where the accident happened. And Brittany, do those 911 calls help shed some light on what happened here? Yeah, Ginger, those 911 calls definitely give us a better idea of what happened out on the river yesterday. And they also highlight the importance of timing because had the two airboats from here at Midway airboat airboat rides not shown up when they did, this story could have ended a lot differently. Investigators are still trying to figure out why an airboat from old fashioned airboats flipped over on the St. John's River yesterday. Seven people were on board and one of them had to be life flighted to the hospital. All right, so there were seven, seven passengers and one is not breathing. Yeah. Are any of the other people hurt? No one else is hurt. The woman in the 911 call says someone there was trying to do CPR on the man, and after a few minutes, they were finally able to resuscitate him. Are you guys continuing CPR? He's starting to breathe on his own. He's starting to breathe on his own? Very good. By that time, Derek Lockhart and Captain Duke from Midway Airboat Ride showed up on the scene after getting a distress call. <laughs> and took the man who was resuscitated along with everyone else back to shore. Lockhart says it was a very tense situation. We were hoping that we got him back and everything was going to be okay. It's unclear how that man is doing now, and Lockhart says he's just glad he and Captain Duke were in the right place at the right time. I guess it was, it was very fortunate that we were contacted, uh, being that we know, know the river very, very well. And um, we, we had a real good idea of where we needed to get to and we could get there in a timely manner. I mean, if we weren't available to get the resources out there, uh, it, it, it could have led to a different outcome, I guess. And we did try to reach out to old fashioned airboats today. That's the company who actually owned the airboat that crashed. We spoke to a woman there and she didn't really want to comment on the situation, but did tell us that it was an accident and that they're still open for business. Back to you. Brittany Harris reporting live. Thank you, Brittany. And you can listen to the entire 911 calls online. Just head to our website, clickorlando.com, powered by News 6.